Thank you. The main character is on a mission in the slums of a third world country. Even when you think nobody's watching, somebody always is. He did such a good job on his mission that a wealthy entrepreneur wants to hire him. The rich businessman wants him to get rid of his competitor and the main character is the key to making his rival go away. He's a movement by himself, but they're a force when they're together. The businessman has access to a lot of resources that keep him from going over budget on their mission. He has access to a private jet that could get them from point A to point B in style. Also, he has enough money to pay the best of the best of the best, so they're able to put an elite team together. After the team is assembled, they practice vigorously in the private training facility for all possible scenarios. The group specializes in a unique type of science that allows them to attack their enemy's mind as well as the body. After they put their victims to sleep, they're able to implant false memories into a person's head. If they do this just right, in theory, the team should be able to make anyone do whatever they want him to. With this type of technology, the main character loses a grip on reality. Little by little, the leader shows signs he's unfit to lead the mission. He watched his wife die in front of him, and there was nothing he could do about it. Now he's haunted by memories of his dead wife, and he can't get her out of his head. This is problematic because it drives his priorities out of order. During missions, he frequently abandons his team to deal with issues concerning his dead wife. Despite his unreliability, every man on the team thinks he's stable. But the only woman on the squad uses her woman's intuition and notices something's not right. Her and the widower bond after she learns he's been having nightmares. Nah, I had a nightmare. It's the only way I can still dream. Despite being the only girl on the team, she keeps her sanity by holding on to a memento. She carries it with her all the time and it makes her feel like she belongs. I carry it with me all the time. You need a small object, potentially heavy, something you can have on you all the time that no one else like knows. Like a coin? Later on, the team locates the rich competitor. They have him right where they want him. But jokes on them because that's just what the competitor wants. The rich competitor's bodyguards come out blasting like but da 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 but da 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 that but da 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 that that that. With the worst possible timing, the main character's dead wife starts entering his visions again. The widower and his dead wife's relationship is more toxic than the Joker's and Harley Quinn's. Every time he visits her, she only manages to break his heart even more. The girl on the team follows him into his memory to rescue him. She slaps some sense into him and tells him it's not real. He decides enough is enough. He storms into to the tall skyscraper and the look on his face says it all. He's out for revenge. The rest of the movie is action packed from here on out all the way up to the credits. There's a fight in the hallway that leads to the elevator. Someone cuts the wire and the speeding elevator almost kills everyone riding it. Still, it's not that bad when you consider that there's far more dangerous methods of traveling downstairs the characters take. Meanwhile, a character is about to die and if he dies, they won't be able to bring him back. If he doesn't stop, I won't be able to bring him back. It won't him. wake him when up. When we die in a dream, we wake up. Not from this. He's not the only one at risk of dying forever. One of the teammates detonates a bomb, and for a second, you think that there's going to be zero survivors. However, you're wrong because the main character wakes up and everything is back to normal. He sees the only thing he cares about outside and runs towards it. He still has his memento from earlier in the movie, but probably won't need it anymore since he feels like he belongs now. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>